in this video we are going to see on how to actually assign the nested functions or the inner functions to their parent or to their outer. So let us start with an example first. So I have a script and imagine I have a parent function called to process which is going to have two arguments to be sent to that and inside that function I will be having display sum so which essentially will be giving me the sum of a plus b so that is going to be my function here so I have a small typo I need to have concatenation so I have a function display sum which is essentially a nested function of do process and now I can execute that particular function by just calling it in that way within the parent function and now this is important after the entire execution I would like to say do process equal to function a So this is going to be an anonymous function which is going to accept two variables a and b and essentially what it does is it is going to give me the difference of those two. So the point here what I'm making here is that this is not a return statement. In my previous video we have seen how to return an anonymous function but in this case I'm not returning it but instead I am getting this particular definition which is an anonymous function so within that anonymous function I have this particular difference which, which is supposed to be alerted so this entire definition I am assigning to do process so what is do process that is nothing but this function so I am saying that whatever you have in this definition so which means this variable currently contains this entire definition now what I'm saying from this statement is forget about what you have but instead you assign do process directly to this particular definition so from then onwards this parent does not hold anything else except this definition once the statement is executed so let us check that so now I am going to say 10 comma 20 so now it goes to this assigns a comma b so which means 10 comma 20 and now I am going to get the sum as because display sum is going to be executed so let us test that so sum is there and we got it so there we go so we just have sum but we did not execute this guy but after the sum what I did was I am assigning the definition of this anonymous function to do process so now do process is going to have this entire function so let me re-execute the same statement and let us see what's going on so the first statement is going to be executing this entire thing so which is essentially you're going to get sum and do process is going to be replaced with this definition now this definition is available inside do process the next time you call do process this definition gets executed as because that is the latest definition you have as part of this variable do process which is nothing but the one you are executing so the first call will give you the sum but the second call will actually give you the difference as because you replaced the definition of do process here with the anonymous function so let us check so now I have sum and now I have difference so let me add one more statement 30 and 40 so let me say 40 and uh, 60 so this is going to give me sum this is going to be give me the difference so which is nothing but this is getting executed and I'm not replacing this function anymore after this statement so again the do process which essentially contains the same definition will be executed as part of this statement which means I should see minus 20 after this minus 10 
So after sum, I'm going to see minus 10 and then I can see minus 20. So from then onwards, any number you execute, it is always going to be, I mean, any statement you execute, it is always going to be this function as because that is the first thing you have replaced as part of this statement. And again, I try this. And now sum minus 10, minus 20 and minus 1. Thank you.